Hey, how are we dividing up? Like, who's going on what? Are we that good or that cheap? Which one? We've come south of Bird Island. Holy crap, there's a whole ton of them. Ready? Yeah. That's the nice 17 inch southern flounder. Let's see if they come back or what? 20 inch trout, 17 inch flounder. We're out of breath because that was a hassle. Where are we? And where are we headed right now? This week we are in South Texas. Arroyo City, Texas to be exact. Oh my gosh. Never in my life. Over the next few days, me and a few friends are going to be staying here at a fishing cabin. That was nuts. We're going to be doing some day fishing, some night fishing. We're here in Rattlesnake Bay. And really just exploring everything that Arroyo City has to offer. You're going to see two of them. Oh, it's awesome. Holy crap. We're excited to bring you guys along for this journey, so stick with us, stay tuned, and welcome to the Arroyo City Fishing Series. Alright, how we looking? Alright, we got the live baits. We're gonna do a little uh, night fishing. And we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, this is actually the uh, morning of day four. We will be checking out today. It's about 3 a.m. in the morning. And before I tell you what we're doing today, just want to give a special thanks to the Tiki Cabins here in Arroyo City. Now, guys, if you're looking for a place to stay, I will tell you, it's not the fanciest place in the world, but if you're looking for a place that has everything you need, that has a good bang for your buck, and that does hold fish, you know, off the pier in the back and trying to get on the water here in Arroyo City, um, the Tiki Cabins is a great, a great bang for your buck. We had, we, had a, we had a good time here, had everything we needed. With that being said, it's about 3 a.m., 3.15 maybe. Um, me and Eric are gonna do something we've never done before. We're heading out to, essentially out to the Arroyo. We're gonna have a light tied up to the boat. We're gonna try a little bit of night fishing. Throw a light in the water, see if we can attract some fish out there. If that doesn't work, we're thinking maybe do a little bit of drift fishing at night. And then uh, as the sun comes up, of course, we'll go into our regular, you know, pattern, so. Y'all stay tuned, this should be exciting. I've never seen anybody else do this, so uh, should be good. Stay tuned. What do we got, Eric? Oh, heck yeah. You just swiped it? Yeah. What do we got going on here? We're coming up to Del Rey, which is a privately owned um, boat ramp. And it's privately owned, local to business. Yes, it's a little bit further away from uh, the Y, uh, the mouth of Arroyo, but you know, every once in a while it's good to support our local businesses. All right, guys, we're out here. It's about four in the morning. I'm gonna head to the first spot, which we don't really know where it is at. See how well we can catch at night in the dark. Stay tuned. So for people driving the boat at night, Eric, what do you have to say to them? Um, obviously, I would say stay in the middle of the, you know, of the, of the arroyo. Keep it, you know, keep it safe. Stay away from the banks. Look for the silhouette. And, and uh, if you have anything that's reflective, obviously a, a flashlight or uh, you have boat lights or anything like that, a, a bar light up in the front. Obviously, you use that a lot to, you know, to your advantage as well. Uh, but you want something reflective just in case. There are markers or buoys um, out even deep into the Y. And then, of course, there's crab traps a lot of times. And um, the last thing you want is to run over a crab trap and low, you know, mess up a lower unit or, or get the line caught in your propeller. So, um, if, and of course, at the end of the day, uh, if, you know, if anything, just go a little bit slower, right? A little slower. Um, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Let's show them what we're dealing with. Ooh. Sick. Fish Come up, right? Yeah, the fish started. Alright guys, this is the visibility that we are dealing with. Eric, give me those lights. The lights do help. But we are here at the mouth of the Arroyo. Let's see where we want to anchor down. We're gonna alright guys, we're here at the tabletop. Um, we're gonna try to anchor up and see if we can throw a little green light and then uh, do some fishing. I'll let you know how it goes. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can switch. 
Oh, a little jumping shrimp. It truly might be more beneficial to just like beef up this light. Ooh. Oh, he's a thrasher. All right, guys, I'm on with my first nighttime trout. Ooh. Oh my gosh, we're doubled up. All right, get that, get that in there. We're doubled up here at night. Hey, we out here, boys. Maybe they're a little bit bigger than the girls at night. Three, two, one. Where you go and you're like, you clearly see, dude, there's a whole bunch. Yeah, like at Port Isabel, dude. When you get that corner you light. You see them like, oh shoot, they're circling there and you start throwing. And sometimes it sucks because you see like 400 of them. None of them are biting. Oh damn. Yeah, that was, a, that was in the deep. Not coming out, bro. I mean, all right. All right. It doesn't feel big, it actually feels small. It doesn't come up, so. It's a flounder. Either way, why not? It's a nice trout. Why not? Just measure it. Just in case. Might be last year's keeper. It's a shame, huh? He's done though, dude. Cut right by. Yeah, guys, this is definitely a success. That's another nice, healthy trout. Thick. I don't even think he's 15. But it's a thick, like, a thick 14 incher. Well, the other trout disappeared, dude. That's why I was a little frustrated, man, because I'm like, do we're catching? Did you do anything? Oh my gosh, you went smallmouth on me, dude. A little swan dive, too. Freaking mullet. Yeah, these guys come in waves, no doubt. Or maybe they forget. They're like, dude, don't go that way. And then a little, like, two seconds later. And I laughed two seconds, like, you know, a couple minutes later. Hey, Alright guys, uh, I would call night fishing attempt number one a success. We do need to come out here earlier because uh, we only fish for like maybe an hour, hour and 15. But we got what, Eric? A little seven, eight trout? Easily, yeah. One or two over 15. Um, so now we're, we're just really early in our morning morning run right now. So we're going to start throwing some, uh, we're going to do the jigging method, slow jigs. Hopefully get on some, uh, some trout in the morning. Stay tuned, you won't be pissed. Clear, to be honest with you. Eating it and crapping. Better footage from the inside of the I guess it's real In the conference, he started. So mm -hmm. I'm listening to both matter, it just mind matter for me. Yeah. Like he needs to take the L before I take the L. So that's why it would have been like, like you're not even, not saying you're entertaining the idea. I don't know what I got. It's a trout. Nice, big, big, big. All we had to do was a 20 yard. I think mine was nice too. This is gonna keep trying to. Come on, puppy. This fool's dogging me, bro. Eric, net it. Oh, Eric, net, net it. Hey, when I have it here, don't let it go. <laughs> net the fish. Oh. Dude, he took it and started running. Sick. Okay. Dude, if the limit was 15, that'd be three keepers in a row. Right? Yeah. Like these last two fish have been close. That's for sure.
Guess it's last year's keeper, guys. Sending him on his way. All right, guys, a little, a little update. Um, we've come south of Bird Island, and we have found that these trout are in a little bit of murky water. Um, we are having to, uh, yeah, we've got like two or three back-to-back -back hits, a couple fish, so um, one keeper. So hopefully we can put something together here because we had a tough start to the morning. Not very many bites, so hopefully we can put you guys on some. Stay tuned. And then later on, maybe brought it up, or if you mentioned it, or... Or like, hey, you're still at the same place? And you're like, actually, no, I got another assignment. <laughs> Coming toward you. I think it's a nice trout. I think it's a nice trout because it's head, it's head shaking. I got a good look at it. I believe it's a trout. Ah, it's a red. We're all mad. It's right here. It's a red. Drag is tight. It is red. That was a good fight. Not the targeted species there guys, but nice little plump redfish. Little blue tail. Let's go ahead and go for the release. Ooh. Fired up. Man, you do like no pointless hey, crap. Look at my eyes, look at my eyes when I push it out. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I literally had so much grass on. You want? Yeah. I had so much grass on, I was about to like... Oh, there's another one to throw it. This one might be a keeper. Too late now. You're not going to believe how I caught this fish. Oh, he's going to not net it again. Eric. Dude, he saw the net, went away. What can I do? I'm literally extended all the way. Net the fish, Eric. Let's fish this out a little bit. Yeah, he's 17 and a half. Even then, dude, barely makes. That's like asking for a friggin' miracle. Look at the box. It's the same thing Justin said to me yesterday. This thing's fast. I can't see it. Guys, we are on with a big trout. Net the fish, Eric. Oh, he netted it this time. Dude, I don't want to. I don't want to lose you. Shot it. Okay, maybe they are at the drop off. <laughs> yeah, this is a game. All right, guys. So I told Eric, "Hey, let's go try the drop off." Eric said, "Nah, Rick. They're gonna be a bunch of little trout." Throw in there, a couple casts on the drop off. This big old, what'd you say? She goes about 19. Something 19. Picks it up, healthy trout. Gave a nice little fight. Eric was able to net it, surprisingly. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna probably be working this drop off area for a little bit, hopefully pick up a couple more. And that makes a limit, a Texas limit on the new regulations. Let's keep fishing. Guys, I'm over here trying to keep you on the drop off. Eric, throw it in the channel. 
Ah, oh, see, that's a bad throw. This one feels good. This one feels good. Dude, this is back to back. On camera. Oh, oh no. Give me the net. There's one with it. A nice one with it. Three, two of them with it. I can't do a damn thing if I'm stuck. There, I'm running into them with my, look. You're gonna see two of them. Oh, a dolphin. Holy crap. Oh, we are stuck. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, they got it. I got it on film. I don't know how you guys. There was one right here. Just oh, guys, flipper. Oh my gosh. Never in my life. I'm gonna put this in the back. But it's nice to get a good little rod bend, huh? Oh, it's gonna be nice. Should be nice. Goes heavy. Oh shoot, goes. Possible flounder. Big trout. Nice trout. Eric, let's land him. Talk about it. Um, I switched to uh, I switched to different color guys. I'm using AM lure. I don't even know what color it is to be honest with you. It's one of those uh, transition colors, you know, like when they're. And uh, we threw out the drop off. That one goes and, close uh, to 20, dude, and it is fat. We got the trout. This guy swallowed it though. He ingested it. But it's a good keeper trout, healthy trout, and we're just letting it drop. Right, and just picking it up from deep to shallow over the drop off and I think they're just ambushing them and real light bite jigging set the hook green that's why like like on the drop off that's what I'm saying like you actually go like from deep go from deep to shallow I think it's better than the opposite like shallow to deep I don't know if they're in the deep ambushing and when they go over you know what I mean like but anyway it's easier to do that we're about to hit this bar son oh they're flashing on it Dude, this place is stacked with trout. Yeah, we gotta go quick. Gosh darn, guys. All right, I got it. We're about to hit this. We're about to hit this barge. One drift. That was like in 45 minutes. It would have seemed like 45. 10, 20. Minutes. You want to keep trying to catch uh, flounder? Yep. Oh, I saw one. A good trout surfaced on it. Oh, I got a nice one. I got a nice one. Flounder, Eric. Flounder. Big flounder. Big flounder. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. He came up to get it. He came up and got it. Was that what you thought was the, yeah. the trout? Or? Yeah. Oh, we do have this nice flounder here, man. Ah. Check that out, beautiful flounder, thick flounder. I say it goes about 16, maybe 17. I'm not gonna take it out because there's so many dolphin and we're on a scooter and don't wanna drop it, but yeah, nice.
All right, guys, so me and Eric decided we're gonna go ahead and call it quits here. We were able to put another flounder, a couple nice trout in the boat. Um, but we're tired, we got a long haul ahead of us. We got some filleting to do. We gotta clean these boats from three days of use. So uh, we're gonna take it back to the house. I wanna thank you guys for watching these videos. Thank you for watching the Arroyo, Fishy, Arroyo City Fishing Series. Uh, special thanks to Tiki Cabins. Um, and always, stay tuned for another episode of Fishing with Rick.